Good morning. Hello, good morning, church. Sorry, ah. Uh, good morning, kita Jason. Ayan. Uh, hintayin lang natin yung mga viewers natin bago tayo mag-start. So, just comment your name and then also your uh, major and then course and then we will uh, acknowledge. Also, the viewers from Cebu. So, yun yung pinakamarami nating uh, followers. Cebu and then also from uh, South Cotabato, okay? from Takoro. Okay? So, sila yung may pinakamarami uh, followers. So, from Bulacan, also from Cabanatuan. We have also uh, from Bicol region. So, madami din tayo followers dyan. Okay, so teacher A is almost uh, I think 11 months. 11 months na kami and then uh, by May 29, so one year na yung online uh, platform namin for all the let future let teachers so i would like to uh thank you for for uh for following our page for your uh, review for your uh preparation so for that thank you very much followers and then also uh for these trying times so i would like to uh 
ask you to stay at home and then also follow the rules and regulations set by the local government. Okay? okay? So, yun, ang pag-aaralan natin is about uh, professional education. Okay? So, from Quezon City, Jason Morning, and then also from Cagayan de Oro, Jason Flo Flores, and then currently uh, watching Mr. Denver Cal Calvin. Good morning. So, yung philosophy of education is part of professional education coverage. So, ngayon, pag-aaralan na, pag natin kung ano ba yung philosophy of education. Okay? Hindi to, hindi to parehas nung uh, philosophy. It means, philo means love. So, no. Philosophy of education is a philosophical activity in the field of education. For example, teachers. So, it aims teachers focus on a certain strategy, in a certain techniques or concept na i-adapt niya to educate the young, to, to educate the individuals. So, that is a philosophy of education. So, now, uh, hold on. Uh, to Jason Jardine, good morning from Comsur Bicol, Marayna Aga. I'm from Bicol, Sorsogon. Anyway, so now, uh, to move forward. To move forward, let us discuss the first philosophy. Ito yung pinakaunang philosophy of education. Okay? So, we have naturalism. So, pag sinabi it's about what? It's about nature. Okay? Kapag sinabi mong nature, it's about in Okay? It is concerned with the natural self or real self. For example, lumaki ka sa area ng Tondo. We all know that Tondo, hindi naman lahat, but uh, in this water area, so marami dun gulo. Okay? Yung kultura dun, okay, sa place na yun, na-adapt mo. So that is environment, naturalism. Kung ano ka ngayon, because of the environment. Influence of environment. We call that nature. Okay? For example, yung student, broken family. Pumapasok siya sa school, pumapasok siya ng school ng what? Tahimik siya. Okay? Hindi siya makausap ng teacher. Hindi siya nagpa-participate sa uh, classroom activities. Okay? But as a teacher, we need to take action to help the student to be a home. To be a home. Kailangan natin siyang tulungan to cope up with that problem. ba? Ang sabi nga, yun yung nature niya. So, kailangan natin siyang baguhin. Okay? Hindi, kailangan natin siyang bag, uh, gawing whole. So, diyan papasok, okay? Diyan papasok yung tinatawag natin humanistic education. Okay? Humanistic education. So, ano yung humanistic education? Yung humanistic education, dapat marunong yung bata, okay? Marunong yung bata sa lahat. Kailangan bu buoy natin yung bata because of that uh, nature. Okay? So not only the basic ang kailangan natin ituro sa bata as a teacher. But we need, okay? We need to help the student para buuin ang sarili niya or yung kanyang personality by what? Kailangan natin siyang turuan what? sa buhay. So that is humanistic, not only the basic. What are the basic? What are the essentials? Those are what? The three R's. The three R's are reading, writing, and then arithmetic. 
Okay? Sabi ni Maria Montessori. Maria Montessori is a humanist. Okay? Ang sabi niya, sa isang school, kailangan hindi lang basic or the essentials ang tinuturo. But we need to teach okay, the students kung paano siya mabuhay, kung paano siya mamuhay. For example, in, Jap in Japan, di ba? Grade 3, tinuturo ano yung mga bata magtanim sa farm. So that is the example of humanistic education. That's why Montessori schools education is humanistic. Hindi lang reading, writing, arithmetic ang tinuturo. But the skills na kailangan niyang ma-acquire. Okay. Punta tayo sa growth and development. Di ba? Kapag sinabi natin growth and develop between the two. Pag sinabi natin growth, yung growth daw, it is what pertains to the physical change. Physical change in terms of increase of size. Ibig sabihin, growth can be measured what? Quantitatively. Quantitative. Pag sinabi mong growth, it quantitative. Meron siyang amount. Okay? For example, a kinder pupil gains two pounds within two months. So, that is quantitative. It means that's growth. Okay? Development naman, kapag sinabi mong development, ito yung what? It involves in the complexity of function and skills progression. It means qualitative. So that is the difference between growth and development. In terms of growth, it is quantitative. Development is a qualitative. Okay? Natuto siyang magsulat using the right hand. Growth or development? Growth or development? Natuto yung bata. Kindly comment your answer. Natuto yung bata magsulat using the right hand. What is that? Growth or development? Anyone? Yung bata natuto magsulat using the right hand. Growth or development? The answer is development. Okay? Doon yung what? Yung skills progression. Okay? So that is the different development. So teachers, we need to know the difference between development. Okay. Thank you, Miss Nanette. And then, Teb Medida. Okay. Maria, Jessica, and then Giselle, Rubia, Baby Lynn. Thank you. So, the answer is development. Okay. Kapag sinabi natin growth, it's about quantitative. Pag sinabi natin development, that is qualitative. So, that is the difference between growth and development. Sabi daw, Kahit buuin natin yung bata, kasi di ba, sabi na sa humanism, kahit buuin natin yung bata, okay, meron pa rin change na mangyayari. Okay? Meron pa rin change na mangyayari. Ito naman yung, what? Ito naman yung tinatawag nating behaviorism. Kapag sinabi natin behavior, behaviorism is also change. Change na kailangan natin uh, ibigay sa isang estudyante. Or kung sino ka man ngayon, dahil yan sa environment na ginagalawan mo. Okay? Because environment change. So yung, yung estudyante, nagbabago din siya. Okay? So, papasok na dyan yung uh, four proponents. Okay? Four proponents. So first, 
papasok dyan yung kay Pablo. It's about classical conditioning or environment. Ito ay may kinalaman sa environment. Okay? According to Pablo, classical conditioning, bakit yung bata umiiyak siya pag pumapasok sa classroom? Siguro mayroong trauma yung bata. O kaya uh, mayroon siyang trauma sa teachers. O kaya binubuli yung bata. Okay? So, you want to help learning, make sure that environment is conducive to learning. That is the role of the teachers. Okay? So, that is classical conditioning. May kinalaman sa environment. So, as a teacher, we have to do. Kung we have to help them, yung mga learners, okay, to set up classroom environment para maging conducive sa kanila. So, that is according to Fablo. Okay, pumasok naman si Skinner. Okay? Si Skinner naman, ang sa kanya is about operant conditioning. It's about reinforcement. Kapag sinabi mong reinforcement, what? Meron tayong ano dyan? Meron tayong dalawa. We have positive reinforcement and then we have negative reinforcement. Okay? Sabi daw, kapag positive reinforcement strengthens the behavior of the student through what? Through rewards. Di ba? Through rewards. Kapag negative reinforcement naman, it is what? It is weakens the behavior. Ito yung punishment. Ito yung punishment na uh, binibigay natin sa estudyante. Okay? So the teacher will provide the reinforcement whenever a learner performs an acceptable behavior on her own. Okay? For example, positive reinforcement. Bibigyan kita ng plus five. Okay? Kapag, what? Kapag sinunod mo yung mga, yung requirements na gusto mangyari ng teachers. So, yun, gagawin mo yun because there is a reward. So, that strengthens your behavior. So, that is a positive reinforcement. Yung negative reinforcement, kapag maingay ka, papalabasin kita. So that is a negative reinforcement, punishment. That weakens the behavior of the student. So that is according to what? Skinner. So now, punta tayo kay Bandura. Okay? Pumasok si Bandura. Okay? Sabi ni Bandura, it's about social learning or modeling. Okay? For example, meron tayong apat na what? Apat na types of social learning. We have attention, we have retention, we have reproduction, and then we have motivation. Attention. Ano yung attention? For example, student ina-admire niya yung kanyang teacher. So that is attention. Nakuha ng teacher yung attention ng estudyante. So that is attention. Pag sinabi natin retention, pag uwi ng bata sa bahay niya, kinukwento niya yung teacher sa kanyang kapatid, sa kanyang magulang. So that is retention. Okay? Pumapasok pa rin sa kanyang uh, isip yung teacher. Kasi ina-admire niya yung teachers. So that is retention. Hindi na alis sa isipan ni teacher. Because you admire teacher. Reproduction. Reproduction is kaya ka laging pumapasok sa klase because of that scenario. Ina-admire mo yung teacher. So that is reproduction. The motivation is pumapasok ka lagi kasi gusto mong makita yung teacher. So that is a motivation. That is according to Bandura in terms of social learning. Okay? Okay. Pumasok si Turndike. Okay? Ano naman ang sabi ni Turndike? It's about what? 
connectionism. Okay? Connectionism means learning by selecting and connecting. Meron tayong tatlong law. First, law of readiness. Kapag sinabi, ming, kapag sinabi mong law of readiness, this law states that an individual will learn if he is ready to do so. So that is law of readiness. Teacher, nagbibigay ng exam. Why? To assess kung ready na ba yung bata. So that is law of readiness. Lahat ng future teachers, they need to review. They need to review for the board exam. So that is the law of readiness. Take note of that. The second one is the law of exercise. Kapag sinabi mong law of exercise, this law states that a connection is strengthened or weakened depending on the number of times it occurs. For example, future teachers, nagdi-drill kayo. Okay? So that is the law of exercise. Kasi kailangan yung pumasa sa word exam. Okay? So that is to strengthen your behavior. Because your goal is to pass the licensure examination. So, kailangan yung mag-aral. Diba? So, that is the law of exercise. The third law is law of effect. Pa kapag sinabi mo namang law of effect, what? This states that a connection is strengthened if produces a satisfying effect. For example, nakapasa, nakapasa ka sa board exam. So that is the law of effect. So lahat ng paghihirap mo, lahat ng sacrifices mo, lahat ng deter de determination mo, meron siyang bunga. So that is the law of effect. Kaya nga, future teachers, kailangan natin magtsaga sa pagre-review. Especially this time. Now, we have a lot of time to review. We can use that para tayo'y mag-aral. Kasi uh, kapag may determination ka, kapag talagang pursigido ka sa buhay, pursigido ka sa pag-aaral, for sure, God will crown your effort with success. So take note of that. Okay? So that is according to turn type. Okay, punta, punta naman tayo sa classical theories. Merong classical theories. One of the philosophy under classical theories, okay, pinanganak yung idealism. Okay? Pinanganak yung idealism. Kapag sinabing idealism, what? Lagi nyong tatandaan, it's about mind. Ideas. Okay? Our thoughts. The, the focus of idealism is what? is mind, brain, and then thinking. The proponent is Plato and Socrates. Socrates. Si Plato is kasi Socrates yung proponent niya. So if you ever uh, read the Socratic questioning, di ba dun sa Socratic questioning, it's all about ideas in the mind when student came to, to Socrates. May mga daladala silang questions. But, ano yung ginawa ni Socrates? Hindi siya nagbibigay ng answer sa lahat ng question ng bata. The only thing when student came to Socrates with questions, he did not give any answer. The only thing he did was he listened to the student questions and returned another questions to the student. So doon pumapasok yung first thinking ng bata. Di ba? Kailangan niya maghanap ng answer. So that is how mind develop. That is the basic of Socratic questioning. So as a teacher, we are not a dispensing machine na alam natin yung sagot ng mga tanong ng, student, ng students. So we don't have all answer 
on the student questions. But using this way makes the student in the classroom para makapag-isip sila. When students thinking in the classroom, learning and education is happening. Yan yung kailangan natin gawin sa student. We let them think. So that is idealism. Okay? It's about thoughts. It's about mind. Okay? Okay. The second one, pumasok din si realism. Okay? Sabi daw, if does not exist, if di ko siya nakikita, kailangan kong nahawakan at nakikita para maniwala ako. So that is realism. It's about senses. Everything that you can see, everything that you can touch, everything what you can feel are real. And therefore, that is what need to be studied and learn that is realism okay and realism says that what all exists needs to be explored needs to be learned from and what we need to share to our student the proponents of this is aristotle okay he emphasized the reality of things through senses okay realism also the philosophical beliefs that reality is precisely what appears to be and adheres to the belief that seeing is believing okay sabi nga may kasabihan nga theories of knowledge suma sa atin ang kaalaman sa pamamagitan ng ating pandama okay so yung ating knowledge, yung ating learning ay nakukuha natin through senses. Yun yung paniniwala na realism in terms of knowledge. Okay? Okay. So, shout out to Maria Patricia, Jessica, Bablen, John, Mayet, and then also Cheska Reyes. Good morning. Okay. Next. Pumasok din yung pragmatism. Okay? So, you, it, pumasok din siya. Yung pragmatism. Kapag sinabi natin pragmatism, okay? Kapag sinabi natin pragmatism, it's use or practice. Use or practice. Being pragmatic is being open to change, being open to reality, and working with the change to your benefit. Okay? Yun yung pragmatism, use of practice. Use of practice that we need. Okay? Gamit yung ano? Gamit yung skills natin. Diyan yung, uh, yung, in terms of curriculum, papasok yung experience. How does your mind and body experience in the real world out or outside the environment? It's also emphasis on how to think rather what to think. It is also uh, emphasizing the development of insights, understanding, and skills acquired in a creative, reflective, and then critical thinking. So that is a pragmatism. Pragmatism also is a child-centered. Child-centered, utilitarian, subject matter for stimulating exploration and practical action. Diba? Binibigay natin sa bata yung real-world situation. For example, social studies. So there is a topic, society and culture. Instead of discussing that topic, pwede natin dalhin yung bata, yung mga estudyante natin sa society to experience 
okay? The real world. Kung anong nangyayari sa society. Okay? Para alam nila yung what? Yung problem outside the environment. So that is pragmatism. The use of practice. Okay? Ang sabi daw, when the teacher is convinced that it's best to teach students the skills to adapt to change, since change is the only thing permanent in this world, he or she subscribe to which philosophy? That is pragmatism. Kasi, what? The teacher teach the student the skills. Okay? Para maka-adapt sa changes sa environment or outside the world. So, pini-prepare niya yung bata for the outside world. So, that is pragmatism. Okay. Next. Aside from pragmatism, papasok din si essentialism. Okay? Kapag sinabi mo essentialism from the word, from the root word, essential. So, that is what? That is basic. Ito yung tinatawag nating essentialism. The basic. The essentials. The important. Okay? Dito papasok yung three R's. Yung three R's, we have reading, writing, and then arithmetic. Okay? Listen. Sa review, importante dapat alam mo yung basic or essentials. <clears throat> Ang pag-review, hindi siya patalinuhan. Hindi siya pada, padamihan ng review or pakapalan ng nire-review mo. But dapat, yung kailangan lang sa pagre-review ang dapat mong gawin. Focus on the essential. In professional education, lahat ng pinag-aaralan mo, okay? lahat ng nire-review mo, especially this uh, philosophy, philosophy of education, hindi siya lumalabas. Hindi siya katulad ng pinag-aralan mo yung lalabas sa exam. It's about how you will apply the pillorial situation. Situational questions. So dapat alam mo yung mga basic or concept. Try to comprehend. Try to try to comprehend and then gawin mo yung uh, yung pinag-aralan mo in terms of situational scenario. Okay? So yun yung dapat mong gawin. Focus on the essential. Hindi mo kailangan i-memorize yung philosophy of education, but kailangan mong malaman yung basic, yung mga keywords na binigay ko. Essential is basic. Kapag sinabi mong basic, important, okay, uh, the is uh, important and then essential so that is essentialism okay uh, i will give you the example the department of education gives greater emphasis on the development of basic skills oh what is the philosophical basis for this diba basic skills diba pag sinabi mong pag sinabi mong essential is basic so yung sagot diyan is Essentialist. The Department of Education gives greater emphasis on the development of basic skills. So the philosophical basis is essentialist. So that is essentialism. Okay? Another. The teacher believes that it is better to use the old and traditional methods than to experiment with the new techniques in classroom. She is what? She is an essentialist. The teacher is essentialist. Kasi what? Kasi nagpo-focus lang yung teacher sa traditional. What is the basic? Doon lang siya pumo-focus. Only the methods, okay? Ayaw niyang uh, gumawa ng bagong strategy. 
So that is the essentials. Kung ano lang yung basic, kung ano lang yung essentials, yun lang yung ituturo niya. So that is essentialism. Okay? Only the basic, what is the essential na kailangan lang natin ituro sa estudyante. Okay? Next, papasok din dyan yung essentialism. Kapag sinabi natin essentialism, what? Exten sorry, existentialism, existentialism, it's about what? It's about choice. Okay? Choice siya. The teacher should focus on the choice. The teacher should focus on the existence. Bibigyan natin yung freedom, yung bata, kung ano yung pinili niya. What the teacher should do in the 21st century education, dapat kailangan ng teacher maging student-centered. Take note of that. Today is what? The education for today is 21st century education. So kailangan natin maging student-centered. Kailangan natin yung, this one, this philosophy, existentialism. Kailangan natin uh, bigyan ng freedom yung estudyante kung anong gusto nila. Doon tayo gagawa ng curriculum. Doon tayo gagawa ng learning curriculum kung anong merong strength yung bata. Okay? So that is existentialism. What? In terms of curriculum, main concern is to free the child to do his own. Kung kailangan ng bata, uh, he is good in singing. Okay. Free the child to do on his own thing. As a teacher, pasok natin siya sa what? Sa club, different clubs. Okay? Ipasok natin siya sa music ministry where he can perform well because of that talents na meron siya. Learner sets own identities and standards in terms of cu curriculum. Okay? So that is existentialism or we call that choice. I have the example. Okay? Meron ako example. So, teacher A views his student as unique. Okay? free choosing and responsible individuals his classroom activities re revolve around the said premise so what theory underlies this sabi daw teacher a views his student as a unique diba or pag sinabi na existentialism it's student centered so teacher a views his student as a unique free uh, choosing and responsible individual. His classroom activities revolve around the said premise, what theory underlies. So we have the option, letter A, essentialism, letter B, existentialism, letter C, progressivism, letter D, realism. So what is the answer? The correct answer is letter B. Exist existentialism. Kapag sinabi mong ex uh, exist existentialism, which focus on the self or individual. Diba ang sabi ni, te ni teacher A? Uh, he, he views his student as unique, free choosing or responsible individual. So that is self-individual. Okay? Yung essentialism naman, di ba, that is uh, option A, that is not correct answer. It, because it fo essentialism focuses on the basic skills and knowledge. Yung option C is progressivism, focus on the whole child development or in the cultivation of individuality. Option D, realism. Kapag sinabi natin realism, it emphasizes that knowledge is derived from senses and experience so that is realism so the correct answer is letter a okay option b 
sorry, option B, existentialism, which focuses on the self individual. Okay. Pumasok naman si progressivism, another philosophy. Progressivism. Kapag sinabi natin progressivism, it is what? It is it is about success. Okay? It is about uh, improvement. It is about progress. Okay? So the teacher should focus paano ba magsasak magsasucceed yung student? Perennially, uh, progressivism is what? Is student-centered. Okay? Progressivism is student-centered. In curriculum, okay, teacher, teacher, kailangan niyang uh, i-adapt kung ano yung sorry, kung ano yung what, kung ano yung ba uh, in curriculum, teacher should base on the student interest. It involves the application of human problem and affairs in terms of curriculum, in terms of progressivism. So, kailangan dun yung teacher mag-focus based on the student interest. So, that is progressivism. It's improvement. Okay? It's success. Okay? Yung development ng isang estudyante. So, that is a progressivism. Kapag sa let question, merong success, merong improvement, merong progress, merong development, the answer is progressivism. Okay? Now, we will go to uh, another philosophy papasok yung tinatawag nating perennialism. Okay? Kapag sinabi natin perennialism, hindi siya nagbabago. Okay? Hindi siya nagbabago kasi what? Everlasting. Eternity. Forever. Kapag merong uh, keywords sa questions, situational questions about the philosophy, andyan yung everlasting, andyan yung eternity, andyan yung forever. So that is perennialism. Okay? Teach ideas that are everlasting. Teach the same thing year after year after year. Same level, nothing changes as a teacher's. So that is perennialism. Perennialism doesn't believe in change. Kaya nga, never change. Yung teacher namin nung high school, word history, wala siyang dalang libro. Why? Kasi memorize niya na yung libro. Kasi for almost 15 years in teaching, walang pagbabago. Yun pa rin yung gamit niyang references. So ngayon, na-memorize niya na yun. Kahit wala na siyang libro, makakapagturo siya. So that is perennialism. Never changing. Take note of that. The key words is never changing. That is perennialism. Palagi niyong tatandaan kapag yung questions sa philosophy, meron siyang eternity, everlasting, forever, never changing. So that is perennialism. Tatandaan niyo lang yung mga key words na binigay ko. Okay? Masasagutan niyo lahat yon. So, teacher focus on existence. Okay? They are not open for change. Doon na tayo sa dati. Doon na tayo sa nakagawian na. Doon na tayo sa primitive way na namahanan natin sa mga ninuno at ninuno pa natin. Okay? Ayaw ng perennialis ng what? New trends. Ayaw nilang i-adapt yung new trends na nangyayari ngayon. Ayaw nilang i-adapt yung 21st century of education. Technology edu education. Technology innovation. Kaya, as a administrator, if you are a principal in a certain uh, school, in the academy, so it's better to get the newly breed, what, teachers. Yung mga bagong uh, nakapasawid experience. 
Okay? Para ma-adapt nila yung, cha- yung, what? yung trends. Alam nila kasi yung trends. Technology, innovation. Okay? In terms of curriculum, yung perennialism naman is static. Diba? Never changing. Static. Yung pa rin ang ginagamit na curriculum. Yung pa rin ang ginagamit na uh, syllabus. Because the ends of education are absolute and universal. General. Bakit ko, ka, ko papag-aaralan ang hindi naman ginagamit sa trabaho? Diba? So that is the notion of the student. Or that today. Bakit ba ako nag-aaral ng, ng ganitong subject? Hindi ko naman magagamit sa trabaho. Okay? So that is perennialism. Okay? It is the knowledge of the learner already as before they meet new information. So that is another philosophy. Constructivism. Kapag sinabi natin constructivism, ito yung prior knowledge. Okay. Contractivism. Prior knowledge. It is the knowledge that the learner already has before they meet in the in- information. Or tinatawag natin tong kung ano man yung natutunan mo noon, magagamit mo para sa bago mong matututunan ngayon. So take note of that. Prior knowledge. That is constructivism. Okay? Next, we will go to social reconstructionism. From the word social reconstructionism. It's about social social change. Okay? Social change siya. It's about society change improvement. It's about what? Uh, improvements of the environment. Outside the environment. In curriculum, teacher should put curriculum as a means in remaking society and rebuilding the culture. As a teacher, kapag gumagawa ka ng uh, curriculum, you should consider also the environment, outside the environment, the community. Okay? So that is social change. Para makatulong tayo, okay? for social change or social change improvement. So, kailangan natin uh, ipasok sa curriculum yung social, yung community. So, that is social reconstructionism. Okay? With, uh, I have the example. Which theory, okay, asserts that learners generate knowledge and meaning from an interaction between their experiences and their ideas. So the answer is what? The answer is social reconstructionism. Diba? Ito yung theory na nag assert that learners generate knowledge and meaning from the interaction outside the school, sa community. Interaction between their experiences and then their ideas. So that is social reconstructionism. Pumasok naman ana, yung another philosophy. Okay? Yung philosophy na to is about its instrumentalism. Instrumentalism. Kapag sinabi mong instrumentalism, what? Kapag sinabi mong instrumentalism, ito yung ito yung instrumentalism is what? Ito yung tinatawag natin truth solve problem. Okay? That is instrumentalism. Take note of that. Truth, solve, problem. Okay? Another, uh, I have a drills. Okay? So, just to end the uh, uh, review 
about philosophy of education. I have a three, okay? I think this is one to 12, okay? So I will flash first in the screen and then you should answer kung ano yung uh, sagot dito, okay? So while waiting, I would like to acknowledge uh, Mark Alejandro, good morning. Si Ed Skilasaro, my student, SPLE from uh, Dubai. And then from General Santos, Araneta Janice, and then also Reggie Mayet, and then Maricar. Then, thank you for watching. We have 83. Okay, first questions. First question, why waste so much time copying notes from the board when everything is in the textbook? It is the remark that comes from what? A, progressivist. B, empirist, empiricist, C, pragmatist, D, utilitarianist. So what is the answer? A, B, C, D. So ano yung answer natin? Number one, why waste so much time copying notes from the board when everything is in the textbook? It is the remark of what? The remark of answer A, B, C, D. So I would like also to acknowledge Miss Levy Batana from Hong Kong. Good morning. No, that is not progressivist. Okay? That is not progressivist. Any answer? Yes, pragmatist. That is the correct answer. Pragmatism. Diba? Bakit pragmatism yung sagot natin? Bakit pragmatism? Uh, Edski. But is, bakit pragmatism? Because what? Use of skills. Napapractice natin. Okay? Why waste so much time? Okay? From the board when everything... What? When everything is in textbook. So that is pragmatism. Okay? Kapag sinabi mo, uh, prag pragmatism is being open to change. Being open to reality. So the student nowadays, hindi na sila nagsusulat. Diba? So that is a pragmatist. Okay? Use of practice. He is open for the change. So the correct answer is Pragmatist. Okay. Edski got the correct answer. Marlu Rason got the correct answer. Losano Sharon got the correct answer. Charlie Flores got the correct answer. And then Ivar, Nanette. And then Nanette. Okay. While waiting for the number two question, I would like to acknowledge the viewers from Cebu, from General Santos, from Davao, from Bulacan, from Surigao. Good morning. Okay, number two. Okay, number two question. The inclusion of the study of Rizal and other national heroes in the school curriculum in order to inculcate the love of country okay, is based on which philosophy? Eh, ano yung philosophy na to? What is the right answer? A, pragmatic. B, ex existentialist. C, idealist. D, realist. So what is the correct answer? The answer is letter C, idealist. Diba? It's about what? It's about uh, yung si Rizal yung ina-idolize natin. Idealism. Okay? It is uh, yung contribution ni Rizal. Kaya ngayon, di ba, yung Rizal tinuturo pa rin. Because we idolize the works of Rizal. 
So that is ideal, idealist. Okay? So that is number two. The answer is idealist. Okay, love of the country, idealism. Because we love our country. So that is uh, idealism. Okay? Thank you, Lazaro. Correct answer. While waiting for number three question, let us acknowledge the correct answer of Marlu, Eileen, and then Kate, and then Shirley, Rowanto Dehai, and then also Venus Ramil. So the correct answer is letter C, idealist. Okay, next question number three. Teacher A, the principal of COVID elementary school, firmly supports that the idea that students have an active role in constructing their own knowledge. Thus, she encourages her teachers to employ students in their classes. What theory of learning does Mrs. Alonso adhere? So the correct answer is what? A, experiential, B, constructivism, C, metacognition, and then D, problem base. So what is the answer for number three? Tandaan nyo ah, tandaan nyo, in answering the professional education, huwag nating basahin isang beses lang. We should read the question twice for us to comprehend. Kasi minsan, dun sa question, ando na yung sagot niya. Ando na yung sagot niya. So what will be the answer for number three? Teacher A, the principal of COVID elementary school, firmly support the ideas that students have an active role in constructing their own knowledge. Thus, she encourages her teachers to employ student-centered activities in their classes. What theory of learning does Mrs. Alonso Adigir? So what will be the answer? <clears throat> For number three. Number three. <coughs> what will be the answer for number three? So first, we would like to acknowledge the viewers, okay? Uh, yes, Miss Jelai, Jelai Kahefe. The answer is letter B, constructivism. And sabi ko nga sa inyo, andu, minsan, dun sa tanong, ando na yung sagot niya. Di ba ang sabi daw? Firmly support the idea that students have an active role in, in constructing their own knowledge. Di ba? Constructing their own knowledge. So, construct, constructivism. Prior knowledge. Pag sinabi natin constructivism, prior knowledge. So, the answer is letter B. Okay? While what? While awaiting for number four, okay, I would like to acknowledge uh, Miss May Cabarles watching from somewhere. Good morning, Miss May. Okay, so habang inintay natin mag appear sa screen yung question number four, kindly comment your place and then also your name, uh, your uh, location. Yes, construction of own knowledge po. Yes, that is construct. Constructivism, the, the correct answer. Doon sa tanong, ando na yung sagot niya. Okay? Good morning from uh, uh, Ron Simeon from Isabella. Thank you, Miss May. Thank you, Miss Kate. Yes, because construction of own knowledge po. Yes, prior knowledge or construction our own knowledge. So the answer for number three is constructionism. Constructionism. Construction of knowledge. Also, I would like to acknowledge Miss Aime Edrat watching from Butuan. Okay, okay, number four. Which philosophy has the educational objective to in indoctrinate Filipinos to accept the teaching of the Catholic Church, which foster faith in God? Oh. Ano yung sagot nyo? The answer is. Idealism. 
Diba? Idealism. The answer is idealism. Kapag sinabi mong idealism, it's about what? Spirituality. Take note of that. Idealism, it's about thoughts, it's about mind, it's about beliefs, it's about spirituality, it's about values, ethics, moralities. So that is idealism. So the correct answer is idealism. Okay? For number four, I, I would like to acknowledge Miss Sarah Jane, Parivik, uh, okay, you are correct. Myra Malong, watching from Ordaneta, Pangasinan. And then also, yeah, uh, Miss Sarah, you got the correct answer. Okay, uh, welcome Christian Manago. And then uh, Miss Kate, Kate from Tagum. Also, I would like to acknowledge Aideen. Uh, Ivar, Mayrasel, Sonur, Sharon, you got the correct answer, letter C, and then also Mayet. Yes, Edski Lazaro, idealism is about faith in God. Okay, Miss Sarah watching from Tagi, Jelai, my answer is letter C because faith is just an idea. Yes, you have the point, Miss Je Jelai, thank you very much. Also, Kate, Charles, Robert, you got the correct answer? Yes, Maria, Romero. Yes, it's belief, spirituality, and then thoughts. Okay, Miss Hazel, watching from Pilar Sorsagon. Yes, I'm from Pilar Sorsagon. So, thank you, Miss Hazel, Manforte, Manforte, keep safe. And then regards to all Pilari, Pilarenos, okay? You are, you are the assist from Bacolod City. And then also, uh, Caroline, yes, if God cannot see, that is idealism. And then I would like to acknowledge from Tacloban, Sosan Siguan. Okay, number five. Virtue as one component in the teaching of Rizal as a course focuses on the teaching of good and beauty, consistent with the good and beauty in God. What philosophy supports this? Okay, number five, what is the answer? Virtue as one component in teaching. So the correct answer is idealism. Okay, you got the correct answer, Uy. Bipeng, Bipeng. Also, uh, from Dabao del Norte, Miss Nanette Mina. Okay, number five, the correct answer is Idealism, okay? Idealism. While waiting for number six, uh, number six questions, I would like to acknowledge sooner from Lapu-Lapu, Cebu. How are you? Yan yung pinakamarami natin viewers. Uh, marami tayong followers from Cebu. And then also, I would like to acknowledge Elmi. Yes, good morning. Watching from Trece Martires Cavite. Thank you, teacher, for your effort. Welcome. Also, Eileen, uh, Jelai, Elmi, Christian, uh, Caroline. The correct answer. You are the. You are correct. That is idealism. Okay. Reggie Parkon, YD. Sagot nyo, Myra from Pagadian City. Okay. Edski, letter D. Okay, we will go back to number five. Mo, uh, may nagsagot siya, letter D. Okay, balikan natin. Virtue as one component in the teaching of Rizal. Okay? We will analyze because uh, idealism and then letter D. Idealism and then social reconstructionism. Okay? Virtue as one component in the teaching of Rizal as a course focus on the teaching of good and beauty consistent with the good and beauty and God. Pag sinabi natin virtue is about what? It is about values. It's about ethics. It's about morality. Kaya tinuturo yung Rizal. Okay? Kaya tinuturo yung Rizal. Focuses on the teaching of good and beauty. 
consistent with the good and beauty and God. So, andun pa rin yung beliefs. So, that is idealism. Be idealism. What philosophy supports this? That is idealism. Okay? Kasi kapag sinabi natin uh, social, uh, social reconstructionism, it's about social change. Pag sinabi ko nga, society change, improvement. Kapag sinabi mong social reconstructionism. So that is not the correct answer. The correct answer is idealism. Okay? So that is idealism. In, that is in my uh, reviewers. The answer is letter B, idealism. Because it talks about God. Kapag sinabi natin God, is nasa idealism siya. It's about spirituality. Okay? Balikan natin later. Okay? Just comment. Okay? Social reconstructionism, keyword is social. Yes, you are correct, Ms. Uh, Marky Alejandro. Idealism is the ideas are truly our true reality. Okay? So the correct answer is idealism. Okay. While waiting for number six, I would like to acknowledge the answer of Sharon Lasano, Bipeng. They said the social reconstructionism from Bacolod City. Sharon, you're your young. And then, yes, they answer letter D. Edski, for number six, it's society events. Social reconstructionism, keyword social, yes, correct. But the answer is idealism, okay? So later on, we will discuss again number five. But for now, we will uh, move on for number six. Okay, number six. <laughs> Scouting and Citizens Army Training, or say 80, give training in character bu building, citizenship training, etc., which leads to the creation of a new social order and new society Eventually, what philosophy supports this? A. Existentialism. D. Perennialism. C. Progressivism. D. Social Reconstructionism. So, the correct answer is letter B. Kasi andyan yung a society, di ba? Social change. Ang sabi nga, which leads to the creation of a new social order. So that is a social change. Social change improvement. So that is letter D. Social reconstructionism. Okay? I would like to acknowledge Eileen from Sambuanga. Okay, number 6D. Okay, Melay. Sampagita Rosas. Letter D, yes, you are correct. Tom Fernando, you are correct. Uh, Dehai. Okay, you are, you are, Jelly, and then Caroline, Annette, you are correct. The answer is letter D, okay? While waiting for number seven questions, I would like also to acknowledge Christian Manago. Okay, you are wa watching from Cavite. Okay, madami din ang Cavite. Yes, Christian, letter D. Yes, Karen Avanzado Robante, letter D. The answer is letter D, Okay. Uh, Sampagita Rosa, hello po for Nueva Vizcaya po. Thanks po sa review. Welcome, uh, Rosas. And then also, Elmi, yes, social reconstructionism. That is a society event. Thank you. Okay, number seven. <clears throat> Let's move forward. Teacher A demonstrated the techniques on how to group students according to their needs and interests. How to use self-paced instructional materials. So, which philosophy manifested in these activities? A, essentialism. B, progressivism. Realism. And then C, social reconstructionism. What is the answer? Why? And then also support number seven. Teacher A demonstrated the techniques on how to group students according to their needs and interests and how to use self-paced instructional, instructional materials. Mm. Okay, uh, I would like to acknowledge also Fernando. Fernando, num Fernando, okay. And then also uh, Robert An Andro Baldado. Yes, we will post this video after. And then Jill, see Miss Jelai. 
The answer is letter C. Okay? And then uh, also letter C, number 7, Jelai. Okay? Mayra Malong, you answer num, uh, letter C. Charlie Flores, letter C. So I repeat, the question is, teacher A demonstrated the techniques on how to group students according to their needs and interests and how to use self-paced instructional materials which philosophy manifested in activity. Okay, Miss Sharon, uh, you answer uh, letter C, realism. Nanette Mina, it's a self-paced. Progressivism. Marvi, letter C. Okay. And then your your the asses needs. It is essential. Okay, si Tom Fernando, number seven is progressivism. Progressivism. Also uh Jelly C. Yes. Tom Fernando, the, num uh, the answer is number seven, letter B. The keyword is needs and interest. So, progressivism. Okay? Anyone? Before we, before we proceed for number A, also Miss Sharon, letter, letter C. Okay? And then, I would like to acknowledge also uh, viewers from La Union. Okay? So number seven, what is the answer for number seven? <clears throat> Progressivism. A learner learns well through active, active interplay according to the needs of the student. Oh, see, Elmi, Progressivism, student-centered. You are correct. The answer is progressivism okay student center also a learner learns well through active interplay okay teacher a demonstrated the techniques on how to group student diba? how to group the student okay to their needs and interest kaya nga diba kapag sinabi mong progressivism is about development okay develop kung paano natin madidevelop yung bata for his or her success in the future. So which philosophy is manifested in this activity? That is progressivism. Okay? Student-centered. Thank you, uh, Ms. Uh, Jen Minor. Okay? Jen Minor. And then also uh, Elmi Rawa Jelai. Okay? While waiting for number seven, I would like to uh, acknowledge Rosas. Okay, good morning, you are correct. Okay, viewers from uh, Bicol region. Okay, I would like also to acknowledge the viewers from Africa. We have the viewers from Africa. From, we have the viewers from Ethiopia, yung mga student, uh, economic student. Okay, thank you. Okay, number eight. Teacher A, a Christian living teacher, puts so much a significance on values, development, and discipline. What could be her educational philosophy? Diba? Uh, the choices are idealism, okay? pragmatism, progressivism, and then realism. Charlito Canillo Sario, but di napapansin comment mo? Ah, thank you, Mr. Mr. Charlito. Hindi ko lang yata nabasa. Sorry for that. Okay, number eight. What is the answer for number eight? What is the answer for number eight? Diba, ang sabi sa number eight, uh, <clears throat> teacher A, okay? Teacher A, a Christian living teacher puts so much significance on values, education. Values education. Pag sinabi mong values education, saan siya papasok? Kapag sinabi mong values education, papasok siya sa yung choices natin, idealism, pragmatism, progressivism, realism. Saan siya papasok? Number eight question. Edski, you answer idealism. Miss Lazaro from Dubai. Melay Soriano, Sampaguita. So, 
the correct, the majority, you answer the correct answer. Idealism. So, thank you very much, Edski Lazaro from Dubai, my student. SPL is, uh, wala pang advice kung kailan yung exam. And then also, I would like to acknowledge Sosa, uh, Ms. Uh, Bertes, Susan, Charlito, Eileen, Jen, and then Marwa, Kay, Christian, Yam, from Tarlac, Yam, from Tarlac, and then Ron, you are correct. Idealism is the correct answer. Because, you know, the question is about values. Diba? Kapag sinabi natin values, it's about education. Values development is about education. Oh, so that is idealism. Okay, watching from Tarlac. Miss Yam to, to Vera Palasa, Palasigi. Okay, good morning, Miss Yam. The correct answer is letter A, dahil values, morality, and spirituality. Thank you for that, Christian Manago. Okay? While waiting for number nine questions, I would like to acknowledge all the followers of Teacher A. Rest assured that we will help you para makatulong kami sa, sa inyong pag-review because we are here uh, to help the dreamer to become an achiever. Okay? And then also, uh, Sampagita Rosas, Sir, sa tingin ninyo po, instinct when will be the examination for March po? Idea lang po. Uh, thank you. Actually, wala pang schedule na nire-release yung PRC because uh, yung September X, uh, yung March, hindi, hindi natuloy. So, baka after this uh, trying times, after this pandemic, so I think maglalabas ng uh, information yung PRC. So, for now, your uh, your part is to study habang may oras pa kayo. Okay? So, my advice is put an effort sa pag-aaral. For sure, God will reward you. Okay? will crown your effort with success. Take note of that. Okay? Fernando, okay? While waiting for number nine question, I would like to acknowledge from Jeddah, Marwa. Yes, Miss Marwa from Jeddah. Okay, aral lang aral habang naka-quarantine tayo. Okay, habang meron tayong uh, uh, curfew, hindi tayo pwedeng uh, lumabas. So use this time to, to review. Charles Mayet, okay. And then also Romeo Villanueva, Oy. Uh, you got the correct answer, Maria. Margie Kimki. Good morning, Ma Margie from Calamba, Laguna. She's watching. Also, Kay. Melay, Babeline, you are, uh, you got the correct answer. The, the answer is idealism. Okay, let's proceed for number nine. Number nine, with which will be, will the ex existentialists agree? The school is a place where individual, black, Oh, the choices are A, listen and accept what the teacher says. B, can observe using their senses to the maximum. C, can reflect on ideas. D, can meet the pers to pursue dialogue and discussion about their lives and choices. What is the answer for number nine? Okay. While waiting for the answer for number nine, I would like to acknowledge also uh, acknowledge also Mr. Ron. You got the correct answer for number eight, D. Tio D. Torres. Okay. Uh, for number eight, we are now for, we are now in number nine. So, what is the correct answer for number nine? Which will be the ex existentialist? So, ex existentialist. Ano yung sagot sa number nine? Mm. D, no. That is not the correct answer. Kasi, kasi kapag sinabi mong existentialist, or existentialism, it's about choice. 
that it is about what? Teacher-centered, okay? Subject-centered. The teacher should focus on the, I know, uh, this one is existentialist, is student-centered, okay? Freedom, freedom of the student, choice of the student, okay? What teachers should be in the 21st century education is to be a student-centered. That is existentialist. Kung ano yung, kung ano yung choice ng bata, doon tayo. Kung ano yung, uh, ibigay natin yung freedom sa mga student. So that is existentialism. So what will be the answer? For number nine. Okay. Nanette D. Yes, correct. Answer. Uh, no, no. Let's uh, let's analyze the question first before we proceed. Okay, Nanette, and then Marivik, you uh, you answer D. Fahad, Charlie, okay, Caroline, letter D. Okay, May, D. Okay. Okay, letter A, listen and accept what the teacher is saying. No, because that is subject-centered or teacher-centered. Okay? B, can observe using their senses to the maximum? No. Because letter B is what? Realism. Realist. Letter C, can reflect on ideas? No. Because that is idealist. Letter D, can meet to pursue dialogue and discussion about their lives and choices? So that is the correct answer, letter D. Because essentialist is what? Essentialist teacher should focus on the choice, existence, freedom of the student. So you got the correct answer, said this, May, Kate, Medida, okay, uh, Charles, Fahad, okay, and then Marivik, Nanette, Jelai. So you got the correct answer. The answer is letter D. It's about choice of the student, okay? Okay. While waiting for number 10, I would like to announce that after an hour, we will have the uh, review on child and development, child and adult development, okay? So after this, maybe 30, 30 minutes break, we will have another uh, review session on uh, uh, child and development, okay? Okay, Tom Fernando, you are correct. Number nine is letter D. Charlito, yes, letter D. Okay, number 10. <clears throat> Appreciation and understanding of the fact that each is a unique individual responsible for its own thoughts, own feelings, and action. So this philosophy is based on A, essentialism, C, existentialism, B, perennialism, and then D, progressivism. So what is the answer? So while waiting for the answer, I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Teacher Margie Kimke from Kalamba Laguna. Okay, good morning, Teacher Margie. And also I would like to acknowledge the viewers from General Santos, okay, also from South Cotabato. Okay, I, I've been there in Pulumulok last year and also in Takorong, Sultan Kudarak. Sultan Kudarat, uh, I've been there in Notre Dame of Shena College, Pulumulok, and then also Notre Dame of Shena College, Takurong, then all Notre Dame of Shena College, General Santos. Okay, I would like to uh, to shout out all the Shena School from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, to all the administrator sisters. Good morning, sisters. Okay, number 10. So what will be the answer? Appreciation, okay? Appreciation and understanding of the fact that each is unique individual, responsible for its own thoughts, feelings, and action. Andyan yung keywords na in uh, thoughts. Andyan yung feelings, okay? Andyan yung actions. So what will be, what will be the correct answer for that? Okay, so while waiting for the uh, answer, okay, so after 30 minutes break, we will have child and adult development, okay? 
So don't miss this uh, review. It is very important kasi ma madaming lumalabas sa let exam uh, about re development, about child and uh, adult development. Pag-aaralan natin yung mga theory ng different philosophers. Pag-aaralan natin yung uh, development and growth of the uh, child and then adult development. Okay? Pag-aaralan natin yung mga principles, principles of development. Okay? So number 10, what will be the answer? Appreciation and understanding of the fact that each is a unique. Oh, pag sinabi mong unique, anong ibig sabihin yan? Unique individual. Responsible for, responsable sa kanyang thoughts, feelings, and action. Oh, what will be the answer? Hmm. Andiyan na yung sagot niya, di ba? Unique individual. Tandaan nyo, unique individual. Responsible for its own thoughts. Oh, I am the I am responsible for my own thoughts, feelings, and action. Kasi choice ko po. Okay? Ako ang gagawa ng kapalaran ko. Magkaroon man ng failure, kasalanan ko. Because that is my choice. So the answer is letter C. Existentialism. Diba? It's about choice. It is what? It is student-centered. Focus on the choice. Focus on the existence. Focus on the, focus on the student. So the answer is letter C. Okay. While well, waiting for number 11, questions para mag-appear sa screen, I would like to acknowledge, okay, uh, Ted, Okay, Sharon, Sosa, uh, Susan, Soner, Marivik, Nanet, uh, Marlu, Michael J. Charles, Wanto, Baby Lynn, Aileen, Kate, Ron, Kate, Chris, Christy Pani, John John, Maria Patricia. You you got the correct answer. Letter C. Also Arch Archil. Some and then some Pagita Rosas, and then also uh, Kate Marielle. Yes, ex existentialism, individual choice, and standards are the focal point. You are correct. And then also, hi to Miss Oy from Bacolod. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the viewers from Bacolod. And then also shout, shout out, Teacher A, present. I would like to acknowledge Ritz Cabanas de Yumangay, yes. Yagnamoid uh, channel, Rest, Resty di Umangay. Okay, and then also I would like to acknowledge uh, Caroline. Sir, babalikan ba namin ito from the start? Hindi ko po kasi naumpisan. Na yes, uh, recorded naman lahat ng videos, lahat ng review sa Teacher A page. Okay, don't worry. Pwede niyong balikan yung review. Also, I would like to acknowledge Marivik. Yes, you got the correct answer for number 10, which is letter C. Okay, number 11. Number 11, teacher A encourages students to identify the various social and economic problems that confronts the society. He also encouraged them to get involved, to get involved in... Uh, I have Plus not, uh, and then also, what is the philosophy? So, yung philosophy niya is progressivism, reconstruction, uh, reconstructivism, and then nationalism. So, the answer for number 11 is C. Okay? Letter C. And then, for number 12, the teacher A views his student as unique, free, choosing, and responsible individual. So, that is the answer for number 11 unique free choosing individual. Kapag sinabi mong free choosing individual, ito yung what? Ito yung existentialism. Okay? So for now, that's all and then thank you. I will be back after 30 minutes. Thank you so much and then God bless. Cheers. Thank you.